Anyway, he got some legal stuff. I am not an attorney. I did go to attempt to go to school for paralegal at all. And I attempted crime scene investigation due to bad police officer. I honestly didn't know until I looked at my background and stuff. Like I said, here goes the situation. You do not need to discuss your day with a police officer. I call the police body douchebag over here, come over here. I call you while you interrogate me. I need to know you more. No, you need to know. No, you don't need to know me. I call you here. If you think that, then you should look at my record before you came here. They already looked at my record before I came here. They kept going off subject about these two bags behind me. And they still asked the same question. They totally avoid the whole situation. And then the short guy tried to walk on my side. And I just stepped back like an prick. And I don't know what he might be. It seemed like you had the right to make sure that you didn't record law. And it might just me be hearing things. But if he did say that, I'm going to call out now. They didn't come to arrest me. I called the police to file a police report. But if that did use in the court case, I'm just going to totally dismiss it because they had no probable cause or reasonable suspicion in the first place. You know, as I said before, douchebags. Oh, man, they are going to try something. I'm going to stand up by this and post them up on my rooftop. Oh, man. They really don't think I don't know my statues of this planet. Oh, man. I'm all down for rent stuff. But anyway, I'm not an attorney. Don't follow my legal advice. It's my experience. No, police officers cannot lie to you get that truth out. That only come out of one certain things. That's undercover investigation. Apparently, people don't know these laws these days. As I stated before, most people that got sent to jail for stuff, they can be executed for. Apparently, people don't know that. Or it's actually a federal crime. Because if someone hacked your computer, it's a federal crime. And then if someone hacked your computer and bounced it to another state, it become an international or national crime. But if they use it, bounce it off to another country, it's an international crime. And that just go up higher and higher. And then it could be tied to everything else. But, you know, that just me. You know how some kids try as an adult. Some kids not try as an adult. Some kids get off. Some kids don't. Take that. But anyway, here go my legal stuff of objection. Objection is to dismiss inadmissible evidence. And I'm just evidence meaning it's not something that can be used as far as it is make believe fairy tale. It is something that can be something that will interfere with the process of the court and that it will destroy the whole court ruling. It will make the jury mad. Or if you don't have a jury, it will make the freaking judge mad. It will turn things out of your favor in a way that the evidence is not even valid. It's make believe. Um, I'm just here to talk to you. I just want to know you more. An admissible evidence objection. Everything you have said and every said does not concern the situation at hand. I call. You can go ask my call again for a fifth time. Then you can ask. Till then, get the heck on. I know the statues around here. And the police training around here. I used to be in the guard here. Police already told. I had uh, someone in the guard who told me he spoke out about police and what they tried to do. Who also went to police force. I had sensible police. As I said before, one of the people in the... The police here does not match my moral code of conduct. I already state what I need to say about that, but you know, off subject. So, if evidence is admissible, it's not valid. If it's admissible, it's valid. When only person who can keep your objection is the judge. Nobody else have any say, so no juror, no defendant, no plaintiff, no witness, none of that. If you as the plaintiff or defendant or you as the attorney say I objection, the judge will decide that. If they sustain, then that means they're against you. If you call objection, he's look fake. Sustain, he's look pretty real. Sustain is not in your favor, according to that. Objection, objection. These pricks also not know. These pricks must not know. I've already got the W. Objection, Your Honor. He has not got the W. Overrule. Keep going. It's in your favor. And then, terminology changes based on states as well, which is bullcrap. Like, it's like somebody subpoena. Somebody can summon a person or can summon documents. Subpoena mean the same thing, but it's different for the state. Yay. So, whatever. Like I said, I'm not an attorney. It's just my advice. Purpose, objection can either help you or break you. 
in terms of ejecting that stuff, you can eject so long, ejecting the jury can get very agitated, and whoever you don't like or not, they can say you're obstructing justice or obstructing the court, obstructing me, you're blocking, you're slowing down time, you're not doing nothing, you're just wasting our time. That can be a benefit in your favor, because if you object to something and the judge sustains it, or overrule. It means that even if overall it sustained it, if, it, if they sustained the objection, that means that no, the objection cannot be used. Everything you just said would never happen. But if you go to trial by a jury, the jury like, hmm, you know, even though he threw it out the court and the judge told him to dismiss it, I think I'm agree with him. Basically, it's an order deception. Yay, people in court again. Congrats. So if you say, y'all know. Oh no. That douchebag is a prick. Look at this, what they say here. Here, here, here. See this? Objection, your honor. Sustain. You will not be used in animus for evidence to this court. And a jury, like, you know, judge says, jury, ignore this evidence. Poof, it's not even important. Don't listen to this. And you're like, hmm, we're not going to listen to what you just said. It could be heard and we can't unhear it. But, you know, continue. Stuff like that. And then, same thing with overrule. But now, when you're objecting based on the court you're located in, whatever state you're in, don't forget other states have different stuff like that. Other countries, I mean. Um, when you're in the court, you got to ask the judge, can I object standing up or standing down? Now, it's hard to say this because from what I'm seeing and what I'm experiencing when I talk to and when I'm doing my research for my lawsuits, where you object stand up or stand down is based on a judge. Then there's the rules of court, like the Supreme Court, you will have to stand up unless you got bad knees like me, you pricks. So make sure you verify with the judge. Usually they're supposed to have rules based on the judge, stuff like that. The next thing of a judge is what can you object and how you object. In? As I stated before, objection purpose is to get rid of stuff you don't want people to hear, or it does totally about it's obstructing the court, I don't want to hear it, blah, blah, blah. Now, how you object is based on what statute you're under. For me, I got to research all, every single statute in the U.S., but I haven't started too far into it, but you want to be timely with your objection. Whether a witness or attorney says anything, Usually you say it before they say it or after they say it. But there's a certain time because it can be based on people-wise. If you say uh, the witness came in, the, whoever questioned the witness said, hey, you stole this, but you wasn't there. We're called leading and we'll get into that. And write an objection, leaving the witness. Or the attorney walk up say, you objection is like both can have good things and bad things, but most likely you gotta do it after. Let's come down to deception or perception. This is why you wanna be timely. If you say five questions later, the judge can overrule objections. I mean sustain the objection and you can continue. I'm gonna change all these terrible lines one objection, Your Honor. Keep going or shut the head up with your objection. I don't see simple. Don't worry about it. And that's pretty much it. I haven't gotten to four colors. There's certain type of objection you can and can't say. There's most of your objections hearsay or inadmissible and misread evidence are leading the witness, hearsay, well, hearsay, hearsay and hearsay, and then there's battering the witness, we mean just abusing the witness. Totally uh, just absurd. Stuff like that. Anyway, objection. This is just part one objection. Like, just like, beat the building out of the objections, bullcrap. Anyway, I'm out.